Y'all know what time it is. Episode 16 of the Realistic Player Career Mode on FC24. If you're new, feel free to hit the subscribe down below. We're looking to drop these two to three times a week. So if you're looking for that, hit that subscribe button. Enough chit chat. I'm going to see everybody out there on the pitch with the very first match in this episode. The one against Crystal Palace. Here we are once again facing against Crystal Palace. And I'm pretty sure the last time we came out here, we got smoked. So we're looking just to keep it easy, calm on the pitch. Three passes in the opposition's grounds. Should be a nice, easy goal to get taken care of. Get a little bit of heartbeat experience and get out of here with the victory. That's most important. Wanting to score inside the box goals. If I can start getting some hat tricks, really, really putting this team on the map, a goal scorer, make a name for myself this month it could be big very big for jesus fabianski's career early on already making a bad call for the ball and i'm gonna let them kind of pass it around a bit i've just noticed that they don't make good passes you know when you don't got good teammates they ain't gonna help you out so you kind of gotta rely there we go good touch by smith though and i'm gonna run i'm gonna run good touch i might be offside i knew it i knew it was gonna be close very, very close, and it was. Or playing, you know, Champions League football, or Europa Cup, or anything like that. So it's really just gonna be a um, good luck type of thing. Good touch. Ah, you know, I try to get in front of the man a couple plays in a row, doesn't go well. So I try to get right behind him. I gotta really find that happy medium with these defenders. Quick touch, and look how they moving it. Knowing that a win could be here. Valuable looks right now. Good touch, but no chance you're getting past the CBs. And whoa! Didn't know he was going in like that. Okay, let's do it. Azaz, I got you, twin. That's just all disappointment in my face. Wow, look at that one. Both sliding for the ball there. Almost took out his knee. Quick touch, but not good enough from Romes. Look at Jesus. Ah, trying to go for the nutmeg. Quick through ball, not looking good. Quick touch, Ezie. He's the one that scored two goals on his last time out, I'm pretty sure. The brace. Quick pop. Looking for the goal now. No luck. And here's a shot. Lerma. Quick one, curves it right across the goalkeeper. Latte Lav getting snatched off the pitch, and they're saying that could be the one to get the win. I sure hope not. What? Wow, they're taking me off the pitch. Okay. Well, already in the first match, you can see the disrespect being given to Jesus Fabianski. Hopefully in the next one here, we will get that victory, score a few goals, maybe even a hat trick. We'll have to see. I'll see everyone when it's go time for the next match. We are here at Riverside Stadium. The last time we played the number one team in the Premier League was at the Etihad. Now we are here at the home grounds. I'm not even sure if we've won a match here in ages. I think we might be winless at home against oppositions. Today it is the worst team, Middlesbrough FC, Ranked number 20 in the Premier League, bottom of the table, versus Manchester City number one in the league. So it's going to be a close match if we play correct. And Phil Foden already looking for goals. I remember how we won it last time. Early we got to a good start, a good headed shot. And we're going to see just tactically how they play. Not even skill-wise, but you'll see tactically. Quick short passes to the next man, you'll see. This could be a place, I don't know if I would ever play here, honestly. Just don't. What? KDB makes those goals in real life too. Those cheeky goals you don't even see to the near post. A quick shot in the back of the net. Let's see it. KDB one time finish right to the near post. And of course, the keeper nowhere to be found. Let's go, Mina. Inside. Look inside. How far do they want me playing on whip? Come on, G. Wow, good pass. Let's go, Dante Live. We're going to have to really turn it up here. Come on, gentlemen. Every run they get. Look at this. Holland using his strength. Yeah. I think I'm going for that. Who cares? Yo, what's up? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, bro. I'm not playing these games with these dudes, bro. Yup, you ain't getting up on Latte Live, let alone the whole team. Uh. No. He got a hand on it. He got a hand. He got a hand on it. What? Our ball. Come on, Xiao. You're doing too much, G. Our ball. Again, Xiao Cancelo. He is a real deal boss, man, on the, on the uh, left back. I'll give him that. But besides that, he ain't got us. Oh, my teammates are so garbage. Like, what is that move right there? Back heel because you think you got it like that? You ain't got it like that, bro. But, of course, one nil at the half, and I was talking about getting a hat trick. So it's going to have to be a glorious one in this second half. Let's work it, McNair. Come on. Quick back here. Where you going? Mina, let's work. Let's move it. 
Good pace, good pace. Good run. Keep running, keep running. La, la. Thought he was going to slide it back. Let's keep it easy. Guess not, Acuna. Good touch. Damn, I thought we had that ball D off. He was complaining about being on the bench. Let's see him come on the pitch and do something then. They got Anthony Griezmann now. They got Griezmann, bro. This is the best team in the world. Mina. Latte, la, bro. He, I, I was praising him earlier in the season. He's trash, man. He don't do nothing for us. He's just too flashy. He's not direct. Like, look at Holland going right for the net on us. And he almost got that, too, which is crazy. Almost a good cross there for Grealish, but we got to do something right now or else I'm at risk of subbing out. So far, it's been bad news for us this whole match. Ooh, thought that was a PK. Real close. Thought that was a PK. Trying to focus. Come on, come on, come on. Stack him, stack him, and make the play. Oh, F, man, F. Akinji. No, bro. Come on, bro. They take me off the pitch whenever we have a good chance of scoring. And, of course, another loss in another match. I'm losing the words. And if these episodes seem a bit shorter, it's because I'm getting subbed off the pitch. There's nothing I can do about that one, sadly. So hopefully in this next match, we really do come out here and perform the way we need to. Especially Jesus Fabianski. Because so far, he hasn't really been showing up. He's been a very dull spot on a dull team. And maybe that's why we're playing so trash. So I'll see everyone in our next match. Hopefully with the victory and some great goals to show for. I told you, he hasn't been having the best rating so far. That's why he's coming on here as a substitute at the striker position. So finally, we can actually go out here and look to score some goals. But of course, not quick enough to make that pass against Man U, who actually defeated Man City in the FA Cup final. So I just want to say thank you very much, Manchester United, for doing that for us. And of course, thank you for scoring another goal on us in the game. Telling the whole crowd to quiet down. No reason to get loud here because this team is bottom of the table. That's what he's saying. And I know this is in Old Trafford, so we're probably at um, the home ground today. Once again, looking for the victory and hopefully getting it here. I mean, we're down two, so it's gonna have to be a big time game. But a good pass now. I kinda wish I made a striker now. Come on, come on. Bro, see, I'm like, he don't wanna go to the goal, so I call for the ball. He don't pass it. Casemiro, huh? This one's pretty much over. It's looking like it's gonna be over this one right here. Of course, we wanna score a goal. Let them know that no way. We still have a chance, but the way they've been playing and the way we've been playing, completely off key. Look at Marcus Rashford, bro. No way he did that pass on us. That's disrespectful, fellas. Go at him, Luke. Jesus Fabianski. Dalot. Bro, they got some good players. It ain't even just my team. It's the whole, it's me too. Like, I'm not getting nothing going. Look how they whooping us up right now. Mason Greenwood, quick touch, flipping it back. Anthony looking for the shot, and of course, 3-0 on the day. No surprise. I'm just over it at this point, bro. I'm just way over it. I mean, I can't even get nothing going because my teammates just don't even get nothing for me. Thank you. Good touch, Jesus. Come on. I'm not going for the... See? And when I get a chance, it never go my way. That's what's crazy. You hope to have those chances, have to have those goals, those glorious ones. Marcus Rashford sent me to the shops. Of course, of course, that's why, because they moved me from the striker. And of course, a horrible pass to the outside where I needed it to be, but my teammate just somehow didn't get it there. And I know I saw a comment about enjoying these losses. And trust me, I enjoy them as well because they're a learning lesson. Never to bring your to the Premier League unless you have a chance of winning the whole thing. Because Middlesbrough don't got a chance of nothing besides relegation. All right, ladies and gents. I think I'm going to do one more match in this episode because I just haven't had a full chance to play the full match. But here we go. In this last one, if we don't get a win, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be very disappointed in my skills and in my team. I already am disappointed in my team, but more specifically in my skills. So everyone... I'll see all y'all in the next match, hopefully with the victory, and once again, hopefully with a hatch. We're here again, a home affair. I'm not sure how many wins, how many losses we've taken at the River Stand Arena, but here we are once again, just looking for that victory. I'm gonna go for three shots on target today. I want the hat trick, and to get a hat trick, you need three goals. 
that just happens to be three shots on target. If I can just convert those shots, convert my opportunities today, I could get three goals and really shake things up for my opportunity to get about the Premier League. That's not something that a lot of people say, and it's definitely not something you would be saying if your team was good. But in this position, I got nothing else to say. Kundel already making a move on four. See, I haven't even been really playing with these guys long enough to know their names. Quick touch from Jesus, all the way down the middle. All the way. Please. Come on, bro. Finally. Travella finish. Smooth, silky. Great way to hit it. And that's how I had to get my goals. Quick move past one CB. Burn them both. And look at this run. On the way, all the way down. A great run from Jesus and a beautiful Travella. Just barely taps it in there. And thank God. Thank God I got that touch right there because I wasn't even expecting to get a nice clean shot like I just did. One nil on the board for Jesus and looking for two more today. Watch out! Oh, flipped him! Flipped him! Yeah! Uh-huh. That's real deal football. No foul. I mean, no card. It was a foul, of course, but no, no card. Because he knew what it was. I was playing the ball. I was trying to open up that shot. I got to be quick with the release, though, you know? If I'm able to get that shot off super fast, I really need to get that technical ability. I'm working pretty hard right now to uh, be able to get it. And I do feel like one of these days I will be technical enough to really work it. Quick touch. Thank you. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, got him on a near post with the weak foot as well. A brace today at home, and that's exactly what we needed from Jesus. He has the whole crowd turned up. You can hear him in the back shouting, and you can see him with your eyes. Look at this move right here. Excuse me, Emmanuel. I'm running. Boom, near post. Stop playing. A beautiful finish. Look, keeper thought. It's like a PK. You wait and wait to see what the keeper's going to do. I thought about chipping him. I really did. But I was like, finesse shot. I thought it was going to be my left foot and curl around him. But, I mean, we'll take it all day we'll get that goal. I don't mind at all. And this is the type of match I want to see to cap off this episode. Episode 16, the touch McNair. Just what we wanted to see. Let's go. See, I'm telling you, when you're scoring goals, it changes your whole outlook on wanting to play this game. But then it's this. How do you let him score that type of goal? Let's see it back. Let's run it back. Run me that footage. Good cross. Ball up. Ball down. Header in. Oh, wow. And that was a good header. I thought it was a bit more lackadaisical. But it was a quick header on 34. A bit of an older gentleman in the net. Not who the hell we just signed, but he got he to play better. He really got to play better. So I'm sure not everybody can play every game. I don't even know. I think, they, I think it was Alvarez they subbed on. I don't know what team did it, but I know France was involved. Could have been against them. Could have been them. Or it could have been actually the Dutch team. You know, and I see him scoring these goals on us, but I'm not even going to complicate on that. Because look at this. Quick. I will, actually. Quick touch to seven again. Neto, and of course, near post for the keeper who's not watching the game. But I'm pretty sure it was Holland. That's who it was. That had, like, a second keeper who was just known for PKs and set pieces. Like, they bring him in, and he would just dominate. If we get this ball here, I can maybe get a counterattack and score and win the game. But a hat trick. I got limited time. Good touch. Jesus running. That's so false. Why they gonna stop my opportunity to be a hero at River Stand? It doesn't make sense to me. It was a great game today from Jesus Fabianski. Two goals. I really wanted that hat trick. And look at Fry. This isn't Fry right here, I don't think, but it could be. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure why he's talking to me because I'm the only reason today we had the draw. I mean, Jesus Fabianski been turning up, but he has to take it to that next level if he wants to go back to the Serie A and really stand on his two feet for Milan. Just want to say thank you for tuning in. I'll see everyone back at the main menu for the episode recap and a bit of a overlook for next time out. What's going on, everybody? This is the episode recap. So, so far, we're playing all right, and the month right now is March. So we have March, April, May... And that's it, man. We have just these few months. So maybe a few more episodes. Yeah. Matter of fact, it's going to be probably three more episodes. So by episode 20, 
we should be going to a new team next time out we will be playing against everton arsenal leeds and north london of course all up in the march month spurs as well but let's go over here and see exactly what we're looking at jesus fabianski moving up to number 11 now with 11 goals in 24 matches assist wise moving up to 12th place he was actually no, he moves down the 12th he was in the top 10 but now slips back due to a couple more names like Curtis Jones in there and Sunset. But Fabianski still with five assists in 24 matches. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. And honestly, I'm feeling pretty hopeful about our opportunities of becoming a Milan player and a Milan supporter on the channel. So everybody, just want to say if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more uploads just like this if you enjoyed. It's been Frank on the pitch with Jesus Fabianski. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, y'all.